I V M. Hey everyone, welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast. I hope you've been tuning in week on week. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the last three episodes that I've done, which were about living your potential, finding your purpose and measuring success. Well, starting today for the next three episodes, I'm diving into the emotional space a bit. And today I'm talking about sitting with yourself. You know, the last few months or rather a large part of 2019 has been about teaching people to meditate. And I use a very simple technique and literally it's nothing but about sitting with yourself. So we get together once a week and I guide people into a state where they can just sit with themselves. Yes, I know that a lot of us think meditating means finding silence, but that zone of silence comes with a lot of practice. So it's not about finding or seeking silence. It's about allowing silence to flow through and you can only allow it when you learn to sit with yourself with all your thoughts all your feelings everything that's running around in your mind and in your body so what do I mean by sit with yourself well firstly I just want to say that our negative emotions are also our emotions just like the positive ones and every time that we reject or resist Feeling anything that is uncomfortable, it only intensifies. Also, this incessant desire to only be happy, to be comfortable no matter what, to have everything at ease no matter what. We're all chasing an illusion because it's not how it's meant to be. If that is how it was meant to be, then we would only have positive emotions within us. We are meant to experience positive and negative emotions. We are meant to feel everything, the good and the bad. When we run away from feeling uncomfortable, when we run away from pain, anger, shame, guilt, when we, well, fight fear and anxiousness and nervousness, all we do is erode our own ability to deal with things. We just make it that much more worse for our own selves. So if there's one thing you want to practice this week, it is just learning to sit with yourself. No, I'm not asking you guys to meditate. Um, I know it's not an easy thing to do. And most of us really believe that we can't sit more than three minutes or two minutes. And I'll tell you this, I have so many people who walk into my class saying that, but they end up sitting for 60 minutes with no problem at all. And well, let me tell you how you can sit with yourself. So, one of the first things to do is to accept whatever it is that you are feeling. If it is bad, no matter how intense it is, be able to tell yourself, you know what, I know I am feeling this and it is okay. It's a simple sentence. I know I am feeling this and it is okay. If you can just say this to yourself, it will help you overcome that feeling it just starts to fade away and pass slowly in its own time it doesn't intensify so you want to learn to sit with yourself first by acknowledging what you are feeling and telling yourself that it is okay that I feel this way once you have done that give yourself some time don't be in a hurry to do the second step some of you may be able to do it in five minutes. Some of you may need five hours and that's okay. But whenever you do get to it, the second step is to ask yourself, okay, if not this feeling, what would I rather feel? Now, I want to say this to you guys. I know that I've said this in my previous episodes, which are all available on the IVM app and website, that feelings and emotions are single words. They're, or at best, they are short phrases. They're not paragraphs. So when you say, what am I feeling? Please don't describe it in 20 lines. You have to be able to say, well, I feel like shit today. If that's what you're feeling. Or you have to be able to say, I am furious. I'm livid. Or I'm unhappy. 
I am restless, I am anxious, I am nervous. Also, if you are listening to me right now, you've realized that I have said so many different emotions. Happy comes in different flavors. A whole bunch of types of happy exist within us. We have to start defining it better. Fear comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes. We have to start identifying it beyond the word anxiety. Nervous is a type of fear. It's good fear. Anxious is a type of fear. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Hesitating, type of fear. Upset, type of sadness. Hurt, type of sadness. Sad, type of sadness. So you see, the same emotion that we are used to calling out with one word, has many different synonyms or rather many different words that describe the variants. Learn to identify your emotions by increasing your vocabulary just a little bit. So don't just say I'm unhappy or I'm happy. I'm good or I'm bad or I'm okay or not okay. Learn to define it a little bit. So coming back to sitting with yourself, how do you do it? Well, one, you acknowledge what you are feeling in a single word or a single sentence and you tell yourself it is okay to feel that way. You can also do this by writing it down. You know my most favorite trick, right? Write and burn. Write what you are feeling. Say, write, I'm letting it go and burn it. I acknowledge it and I'm letting this go. Burn it. Burn the piece of paper. So that's step one. Step two is to identify what would you rather feel. So you want to ask yourself, if not this feeling, which is so awful, what would I rather feel? Also, you know what I did there? I gave you another word for bad, awful. So you want to then identify what would you rather feel. Again, one word or a short phrase, not a paragraph. Once you have written that down, let yourself repeat it to yourself a few times. Think about it, mull over it, whether it's few seconds, few minutes or few hours. And then when you are ready, ask yourself, what is the one thing I can do right now to make myself feel that? Now, I want you to understand one thing. This process only works if you are willing to sit with your own emotions. If you are going to try to do the three steps in three seconds, thinking that you can run away from whatever it is that you're feeling or delete it or eliminate it, it's not going to happen. The process won't work. Remind yourself what this episode is about. It's about sitting in discomfort. It is okay. When you sit in discomfort, when you sit in pain, when you sit in anger, when you sit with the shame and guilt, just for a little bit, you can start understanding where it is coming from and what is going on with you. But if you keep trying to run away from it, then it just keeps coming back. And you won't know what to do with it or what to do with yourself. Every day... Just sit with yourself for some time. Now, I know that a lot of us have long commutes. I mean, if you're living in Bombay City at least, and if you, you know, live somewhere and work somewhere else, for a lot of us, it's very normal to be traveling anywhere from an hour and a half every day to and fro to three to four hours to and fro. It's just how the city works, right? Um, I think... Well, I've been to Delhi enough this year to know that even Delhi is literally, everything's an hour away, maybe because of distance or maybe because of traffic. So again, um, I've heard the same stories about Bangalore as well. So there you go again. So what can you do with the time when you are commuting? What can you do with that time? Well, plug in some music, close your eyes and sit with yourself. Ask yourself, how are you feeling? Ask yourself what the day has been like. Ask yourself, what is going on in your life? What do you need to work on? Or what are you just going through at that moment in your life? And when you sit with yourself, follow the three steps. Ask yourself, or rather, state what you are feeling with a single word or a short phrase. Ask yourself, what would you rather feel? And then ask yourself, what is the one thing I can do right now to make myself feel this? If there is one thing that you want to do this week for yourself, it is to stop running away from your own feelings. It is to start sitting with it. Maybe for five minutes or maybe for 30 minutes at a time. That is up to you. But sit with yourself every single day. I promise you in a week, life will change. You will feel the difference within you and outside of you. 
So on that note, signing off from this week's episode. Stay tuned for the next two weeks because I'm talking more about emotions and dealing with certain things that we feel. All previous episodes are available on the IBM website and app. And you can get in touch with me on Instagram. I love reading your messages. It makes my day when someone messages me and says that a particular episode has helped them through something. I also know that a lot of you all have messaged me saying that the episode called Trust Yourself and But What If are the two episodes that you all have enjoyed the most. So thank you very, very much. And I hope to receive many, many more messages like this. So on Instagram, my handle is Positivity Angel and looking forward to hearing from all of you. I hope you enjoyed that show. We'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Intel Storytel and Cambly. This week in the spirit of Christmas, instead of giving you the long drawn out promo that I normally do, all I'm going to do is ask you to give me a Christmas gift. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey, fill out our survey and send it out to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for listening to the IVM Podcast Network this year in 2019. Welcome to Peak Planet, a new podcast where we delve into the fallouts of the growth path that we and indeed much of the world has chosen. Sustainable growth is the buzzword. Until we nail that down, we need to ensure that we keep our population healthy and also have the resources for our increasingly urban lifestyles. I'm Karthik Ganesan, a researcher at the Council on Energy, Environment and Water, a Delhi-based policy research institute where for almost a decade we've been trying to explain and change the use, reuse and misuse of our resources. In the first season of Peak Planet, we take up air pollution, public enemy number one and an invisible one at that. Increasingly, the most important risk factor for adverse health outcomes, air pollution has become the most unwanted byproduct for an aggressively growing economy. Over four episodes, we find out how prepared our systems are to deal with this crisis. You can catch the entire first season of Peak Planet out now on the IVM Podcasts app or website or wherever you get your podcast from.